hey what's up guys in this video i'm going to show you how to use xbox remote play on your ipad so without wasting of any more time let's get straight to the point point. and guys my xbox controller is connected with the ipad if you don't know how you can use it i have already made the video but this controller is connected with my ipad not the xbox and now let me just show you the process and guys for this purpose you just need to go to the app store and uh, on the app store you have to search one app for your ipad uh, I don't know why it takes so much time and you just need to search the Xbox app here and uh, After that when you search just download this app Xbox I think it needs an update in my case, but you have to uh, download the Xbox app and now guys let me just show how this matter works and uh, now guys you just need to open the Xbox app on your uh, you know iPad and when you open it for the first time after you download it will ask you to sign in and uh, make sure you sign in with the same account that you are using on your Xbox and this iPad and your Xbox is connected with the same Wi-Fi otherwise this matter will not work properly and guess after you sign in with the account you will see this icon and you just need to tap it here and it will ask you to uh, use xbox it says xbox one console on which is my this console and there are some options but you just need to tap the remote play on this device and just tap the continue and because my ipad is connected with the xbox controller that means i can use xbox uh, remote play and uh, xbox controller with the ipad and this is very much simple and easy and with the same method you can also use xbox series as series x and all the you know xbox so you can see i'm playing my xbox on my ipad and it just works perfectly fine there is not um, noticeable glitches and lag you will see some you know lag issues if you have a you know slow internet but uh, you can access all the xbox on your ipad and it just works perfectly fine uh, you can even play games i think i have a gt5 but it just needs an update and this is pretty much simple and easy and i hope guys this short of the point tutorial is helpful for you and if you go back it will go back and if you just need to turn off just tap the you know home button and you will be able to go to your home screen and disconnect it from the xbox and uh, guys i hope this short of the point tutorial is helpful for you if you learn anything new i recommend you to subscribe this channel that's it for today i hope you guys see in my next video till then goodbye